Welcome to today's show. On today's show, we're going to be discussing rocks and minerals. What do you know about rocks and minerals? Well, they're all over Earth, and they each have unique properties, but there's a distinct difference between rocks and minerals. But one thing we do know is that rocks and minerals are very unique and diverse. Pumice can float on water. Magnetite is a magnet. Talc is used in makeup. You eat salt that comes from halite. And pyrite is known as fool's gold. Hmm, what is the difference between rocks and minerals? Well, first, let's start out with minerals. A mineral is non-living. It's a solid, it's a material, and it contains particles that are arranged in a certain pattern. There are many distinctive features of minerals, but we're just going to talk about four in this particular video. We're going to talk about streak, luster, hardness, and cleavage. Streak is the color of the powder left behind when you rub a mineral against a white tile called a streak plate. Cleavage describes how easily a mineral can be split into sheets. Hardness is a mineral's ability to resist being scratched. This is Mohs scale of hardness. Geologists use this scale to determine the hardness of a mineral. If you look at number one, that is talc. That is the softest mineral on earth. And number 10 is a diamond. It is the hardest mineral on earth. The only thing that can scratch a diamond is another diamond. A mineral's luster describes the way the surface of a mineral reflects light. A diamond is very shiny, so it definitely has luster. So I think we're developing an understanding of minerals. So what is the difference between rocks and minerals? What are rocks? A rock is a mineral that is made out of one or more minerals. A mineral is a rock, and a rock is a mineral. There are three different types of rocks, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. First, let's talk about igneous rock. Igneous rock forms when melted rock cools. Basalt, gabbro, and pumice are three types of igneous rocks. Magma is molten rock that is held within a volcano's chamber. Lava is molten rock that is ejected from a volcano. Igneous rocks are synonymous with volcanoes. Why? The prefix I-G-N in igneous is synonymous with fire. Take a look at this pumice and obsidian rock. The pumice contains tiny holes that are caused by gases escaping from the lava as it cools. Obsidian also forms from lava. The lava cools so quickly that the rock looks like black glass. When obsidian breaks, sharp edges form. Next, we're going to be discussing sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock forms when sediments are squeezed and stuck together over the course of time. Layers upon layers of broken shells, broken bones, and sand compact together to form this sedimentary rock. Examples of sedimentary rock include limestone, sandstone, shale, and conglomerate. If you take a look at this sample, you can see the layers of sediment that have been pressed together over the course of time to form sedimentary rock. Sediment that is deposited comes in many different sizes. Clay is the smallest, followed by silt, then sand, then granules, then pebbles, then cobbles, and then boulders. Do you like cookies? I sure do. My favorite is the chocolate chip cookie. The chocolate chip cookie has a lot in common with sedimentary rocks. How? Both are made of many different ingredients that are pressed together to form one unit. Sediments are created from weathering and erosion. Sometimes, rocks are weathered into small pieces, blowing winds, flowing water, gravity, or slow-moving glaciers. They move the pieces to other places where they are deposited into layers. Hmm, what is metamorphic rock? Metamorphic rock is formed under great heat and pressure deep within the Earth. There is immense heat and pressure within the Earth's three layers. What are the three layers of the Earth? The three layers of the Earth are the crust, mantle, and core. You can see the crust, mantle, and core in this graphic. Three types of metamorphic rock include schist, gneiss, and marble. Hmm, what is the rock cycle? The rock cycle is a continuous process where rocks change from one kind to another. This process repeats over and over again. If you take a look at this graphic, you can see the undertaking that is the rock cycle. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to check out our Teachers Pay Teachers store. Follow us on Instagram 
like us on Facebook, and check out our Pinterest boards. And be sure to check out our YouTube channel where you can find many exciting videos like the one that you have just seen. And check out our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com.